All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a spark plug replacement on a 2007 Toyota Prius. Now, this would be similar models from the 04 to the 2009 model. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process. I mean, you can save a couple hundred bucks for this process. So, I would recommend to do it yourself so you're not so, so you're not scared of the job. It's fairly easy to do. Um, I would recommend using original equipment. NGK is the original equipment or Denso um, for this specific model. Now, if you have codes like P0300, P0301, 302, 303, and 304, um, most common issue is going to be the spark plugs. Um, if not, it could be the ignition coils. You would need to diagnose that. Um, I'm not going to be doing a diagnostic feature, but just to kind of state that. But yeah, if you haven't already, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos. And then we're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. Alright, so we're going to need to take off um, this 10 millimeter and then this 10 millimeter. This will be the relay box, so this won't be in the way. As soon as we get that right off, then we're going to take off the 10 millimeters that are holding in the ignition coil. So we got one, two, three, four. Um, now I know this kind of sits over that ignition coil. We're going to kind of use a pick just to kind of pick it out so we don't have to take off the whole thing. Uh, we just kind of want to sneak it out. So we're gonna go ahead and push down on these on these clips right here. So um, I know a lot of Toyotas they'll kind of break. Um, well, actually, we'll just leave some of them on, and we'll just move them over to the side. I think it's the last one that we need to unplug. Or, no, we'll just leave it. It's been a while since I did one of these. So we'll just leave all the, the spark plugs on there, uh, the ignition coils on there, and then we'll go ahead and take off the spark plugs. And here's our spark plug tubes. Um, basically, we're going to need a, a 5 8 spark plug socket, and then uh, we're going to be using a 6 inch extension. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and um, drop down our new spark plugs. Here's a spark plug number. It's going to be the 4996. Or the other top part number would be right up there. That would be actually on the spark plug. Um, again, it's better to keep these original equipment as for NGK. just want to make sure that you note that. Do not put any other plugs besides the original equipment. Um, and also, you don't need to pre-gap these. These are already, uh, or gap these. These are already pre-gapped um, to manufacturer setting. So they should come with a little cardboard box or a plastic coating around them just to keep the tip from getting damaged. And we'll go ahead and just drop these right in there. We're going to go ahead and hand tighten them. So now we're going to go ahead and put back on our coilover plugs. video helped you out give it a thumbs up comment down below and then like and share the video and then hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos and thanks for watching